My name is Thomas Kovacs. This is my fourth and final year at seminary and just want to share a little bit about my journey, how God led me here growing up, perhaps like many of you. I went to church a lot, and uh, from the time I was a little kid, I identified myself as a Christian. I believed the Bible. I believed that Jesus is the Son of God who died for my sins. Uh, but, but over the years growing up, that belief ended up showing itself to be pretty superficial. And uh, later on in life, I'd realized that I truly, really was more so a hypocrite and that my faith uh, was really shallow. And it wasn't until actually a year after college that I came to grips with that realizing that I was pretty much in bondage to sin and that I wasn't free at all uh, from that, and I really needed God's grace and mercy in my life. And at that point, that's when I really gave my life to Christ, and that's when God really started to transform me and immediately saw the results of that. And shortly after that, I had moved to Virginia and got plugged into a Bible-believing church, a faithful church, where I got to be involved and I had an uh, insatiable hunger for God's word. All of a sudden, it was uh, clearer to me. I could understand it, and I just wanted to grow more and more in my knowledge of the truth because it was all making sense and coming together now. And so it was this wonderful time being at this church and serving, and, and I was there for a total of three years, and, and by the time I got into my third year, I actually had been asked to lead the youth ministry at one of their campuses. They were a multi-site church, and it was basically to direct the junior high and senior high ministry, and that involved uh, me doing all the stuff that that comes with, but preaching Sundays, uh, Sunday in, Sunday out. And that was an experience that really changed my life because I really had to figure things out as I went. I was really trying to do my best and be faithful at, at teaching God's Word. Uh, but it was a time that was really challenging, but also really opened my eyes to the fact that this is the most important thing that I could do with my life, and that's to teach God's Word to people uh, who are in need of the truth who need the gospel, who need to be saved, but also uh, to believers who need to grow in the truth and, and to, uh, to be sanctified and to grow in holiness. And, and that transformation in my life, I wanted to see in other people's lives as well. But after that year of working with the youth, I realized, man, I need training. I really need to be equipped. Uh, I feel like I'm just kind of figuring things out as I, I go. And, and so seminary was the, the option or, or the decision that I decided to go with. I had uh, the men I was working with encouraged me to look into that. And, and really, uh, it didn't take me long to look at TMS website and everything I read on there was an encouragement and made me realize this is the place I want to go. This is a place that's faithful. And I had been blessed by John MacArthur's preaching. And I'm like, this is the place to go. And I'd been married for one year. And, and thankfully, uh, the men told me, hey, you need to talk to your wife and see if seminary's the decision, you know, the direction you want to go. And thankfully, she was willing to go on an adventure from Virginia all the way to California. Uh, and so we came out here, and the men, one of the men I worked with, he said, hey, this is, you know, this is a great opportunity for you to say to people who are watching your life to say, watch my God work, uh, because we basically were uprooting ourselves leaving two full-time jobs, so we didn't have any kids at that point, and, and we were leaving that security, and we were coming all the way out to California, didn't have anything lined up, other than, hey, we've got an apartment to move into, and we're going to start seminary, that's all we know. And God surely worked, and that's what I wanted to share with you about His provision. There are really three major provisions uh, since we've got here that really have stood out in how He's taken care of us the whole uh, four years that we've been here. And when I came to orientation, I mean, there were two things that stood out that were said that never left my mind. One was don't sacrifice your marriage on the altar of seminary. So just keeping those priorities right. And the other thing was education is the one thing that people are willing to pay for and never get. And so that stuck with me while we're out here to get the most out of this experience and this time and this training. And so the ways that God provided, well, we came out, we had no jobs, started putting out resumes and applying and and lo and behold, one month after we got here, my wife actually got hired uh, to be a full-time teacher. And shortly after that, the school had sped up the process for her to actually even get her California credential and all of that happened in the blink of an eye. And so she was set up to work and I was set up to be able to focus on seminary full-time. And that was a huge provision uh, in our lives. And then not too long after that, we decided, hey, well, you know, we want to, we budget things out and we need to maybe find a place that's a little more affordable for us to live. And we actually got an opportunity to be apartment managers. 
And so we basically, in two weeks' notice, we got hired to be apartment managers and picked up and moved. And again, that was another way that God had provided for us. You know, I'd heard about these envelopes of cash that appeared in people's mailboxes. I'm like, hey, that'd be awesome. But the fact is that God really just opened up these doors of opportunity for us to work and for him to provide through jobs and through people uh, another way. And the, the final provision that really stood out was when we had found out that we're going to have our, our first child, I was like, okay, we're going to have this transition and, and I'm going to start really looking to f- try to find some work while I'm finishing up seminary. And on the TMS Weekly, there happened to be a listing that just seemed like a dream come true, match made in heaven, saying they were looking for a guy to lead their, their music out at this church plant out in Fontana, which is about an hour east of here. And that's something that I've always done my whole life, being involved in music. And, and they said this position is a- at least this, doing music, but has the potential to be more than that. And so that just really piqued my interest. I'm like, this is a place that uh, I could see this is God's provision. And so for a year and a half, I've been serving out there, leading the music, and, and also having opportunities to minister God's word to people. And it's been a huge blessing. And At this point, uh, that's basically how God has seen us through these four years. He's provided for us, and we really have had no reason to worry. And also just through friendships of of fellow seminary students and families and and people at Grace Church, it's just a a loving environment that we've been in. We've been blessed by God's provision through the years. And with that being said, future plans, well, basically this church that we've been serving at, Summit Bible Church, uh, we we plan to move out there uh, this summer so we're closer, obviously closer than an hour away, and uh, where we can minister and I can start there full time and basically assist the pastor with whatever he needs and to minister to the people in whatever way that I can possibly serve them, continue doing music, but also have opportunities to minister the Word of God to people. So that is really our future plan, and, uh, and we have our second child that we're expecting, another little girl, and she is due two days after commencement, May 13th, so we pray that the Lord will bring her in right at May 13th, so we can walk that stage. Four years would be nice to walk the stage, shake John MacArthur's hand, and we're really grateful, and, and I just want to say, you know, just to anybody who's considering seminary and all that, it's, you know, you know, Jesus told us not to be anxious about these things that people tend to be anxious for, you know, how you're going to be provided for, your security and all that. You seek first God's kingdom, his righteousness, and all those things will be added to you. Uh, so don't worry about anything. And uh, he's truly been good to us. And so it's been a pleasure sharing that with you. And this seminary is awesome. So amen. amen. <laughs>